Okay, so what we've got here is a demo that is talking about three things. It's talking about fragments, it's talking about navigation, and it's talking about view models. And we're going to see all of these things throughout the rest of the course, although navigation is, is maybe the, the sort of least important. Um, so we have our, our list, you know, with uh, titles and ratings. Then, you know, we have our, our layout. But now we have this bottom navigation controller, which has different sort of, I don't know, it's got different icons. Let's click one of them and see what happens. Okay, so this one looks a lot like it did before, but now there are these hearts, and this one is empty. So that's weird. So let's go back to here, and let's uh, let's click on one of these. Live dead, and we get a little toast, so it's not a snack bar, it's a toast, but whatever. And then we click here, and oh gosh, there's a there's a little check mark. And uh, this guy's still empty, but maybe if we click this heart, say we we load these two albums, that uh, they'll they'll show up here. So, and uh, you know, if I unclick the heart here, uh, ah, the the heart is unclicked here, and you know, if I go back to simple, there's no hearts and there's no check mark, but they come back. So. Sort of what's going on is these are three fragments. A fragment is a little bit like an activity. It's a piece of code that controls part of the screen. They all have their own display state, but they also all are sharing some state. And that shared state is going to be called the view model. And what's nice about the view model is it should know nothing about the views. It has purely abstract notions like what item is selected and what items are in the favorite list. It knows that, but it doesn't know anything about who's displaying it, what's the state of the display, none of that. We're separating out the data in the view model from the view or the, the display logic. And for the display logic, we're using fragments because fragments are more flexible than activities. We do have an activity. There's one activity. Here's main activity. But what main activity is doing, if we take a look at the, the layout, there's this bottom navigation view controller. And then there's this fragment. And this fragment layout item is, is like a container that holds these three different fragments. The simple fragment, boom, select fragment, and the favorites fragment. Okay, so each of these are actually different code. And if we take a look at these fragments, they're, they're not that bad either. They're a lot like activities, but they have a different life cycle. They have different function names. We have on create view, on view created, on destroy view. That's all we're looking at right now. On create view looks just like what we do in the beginning of an activity. We inflate a layout. We get a hold of the root object and return it. That's it. And on view created, we're doing a couple more things. We're actually getting a hold of a reference to the underlying activity, and we're doing something to the action bar. We're setting the title. We're creating a layout manager for our um, recycler view. Let me show you the uh, let me show you the recycler main layout. It's just a linear layout with a recycler view. That's it. So in simple fragment, we're grabbing a hold of that recycler view. And we're setting a simple adapter. Okay, very simple, simple adapter. Looks like a very, very simple version of recycler view. Um, get item count, view holder. In the view holder, we are setting an on-click listener, so we are have to make sure that we're getting our position. There's, there's, there's one other thing going on in here. You know, we have our notify item changed. Um, we have our binding of the view holder. Remember, we've done this before. Um, this is all. Recycler view. Let me talk a little bit about navigation. Uh, navigation is how you move from fragment to fragment. Um, and they, it works best when you uh, have sort of one activity and multiple fragments, which is what we have here. Um, in this case, we don't have explicit transitions between the fragments. You can add that to your navigation. That is actually being handled by the menu. Um, there's some fanciness here because the menu is named exactly the same as the navigation uh, uh, items 
And so the system knows to hook those two things up. So it's a little deus ex machina, ex machina, but um, what we need to know is that navigation is telling us which fragment to run. Each of these are, each of these menu items controls one fragment. We're telling the system what fragment to actually execute. That fragment gets put in this layout space and away we go. Now, <clears throat> the final building block here is this view model, which is the way that all of the fragments are talking to each other. Okay, so it's state that has nothing to do with display that persists for your entire application, no matter what fragments are on the screen. Okay, so what does that mean? What does that look like? Well, first of all, the list is gonna be in our view model, list of, of albums. And our list of favorite items is also in the view model. And then the view model is just logic. It's just about data structures. It's got nothing to do with views. There's nothing in here about check marks or hearts or anything. All right, this is super simple. It's just maintaining these two lists, but we can refer to the view model using this sort of fancy, there's some support in, in Android for this. We can get a hold of the view model. Oh, do we need, do we need oh, that, that, we're just, we're just uh, logging. Here's, here's where we really deal with the view model. So um, we, let's see, yeah. So um, in the adapter, in the adapters we've looked at so far, we keep our state locally. We have a list. The adapter is, is, is holding the state of the list. Here, our adapter is holding a view model. The view model holds the list. So if I want to get an item, I get it from the view model. If I want to know what's selected, I ask the view model. If somebody clicks on an item, I tell the view model. Where do I tell the view model? Uh, here. Uh, no. Right, this, this is the uh, favorite. Here. I tell the view model that the user has selected a new position. So that's why when I'm on simple, here, simple adapter, um, I set the on click listener, I'm telling the view model, Europe 72 is selected. And then when I come over here, I say, hey, uh, select fragment, uh, sorry, select adapter. When select adapter is doing the binding, it says, hey, view model. It doesn't say, hey, list. State is in the view model. Hey, view model, get me the item at the position. And I say, if the view model, if, if what the view model thinks is the selected position is this position, then I'm going to set this, this check mark. Otherwise, I'm going to set it to white. So that's how, that's, that's the trick. The simple fragment sets the view model. The select fragment is read, the select adapter is reading the view model on binding. It's also reading the view model for the favorites. Okay, that's really the thing to get your head around. View models allow fragments to share state. View models know nothing about the view. They know nothing about the display. Fragments control part of the screen. Right now we're using navigation to get between fragments, but we will also see the fragment manager. It's a little bit more complicated API, so we'll, we'll put that out for the time being. But uh, navigation allows us to go from fragment to fragment. Just because you have a fragment doesn't mean you don't have an activity. So there's still an activity. We can even get a hold of the activity. But when we have a bunch of fragments, we can also share state through the view model. Okay. Thanks very much.